What if you don't eventually find someone? Spend time doing things that improve your life and you as a person. That will make you happy and build confidence. That will make you more attractive and if you don't find someone, you are still happy. Dwelling on this will definitely not improve the prospects. That's pretty much the best thing one can do. Also gain some perspective and don't overly romanticize relationships. They are a lot of hard work and being in one won't necessarily solve your deeper issues. That's actually my worst fear. What if I never find someone who will love or care about me? I'm not worried about dying alone but dying knowing that I won't be missed or mourned. There are couples that have been happily married for decades and I don't think I'll ever be lucky enough to experience that love. This is where friends come in. And the family you already have. Parents. Siblings. That one weird cousin you never talk to. But would really get along with if you did. There are a lot of types of relationships that you can cultivate besides just romantic ones. Just because I am single. Doesn't mean I wouldn't be missed if I died today. And even if it is not as flashy as romantic love. There is a lot to be said for having a few good. Platonic friends who you know will be there for you no matter what. Reach out to those around you. Help a neighbor. Find a club. Strike up a conversation with a random stranger. If you reach out, in positive ways, to those around you, you will be missed and mourned, regardless of whether or not you find the one. Then you don't. Simple as that, really. It is my belief, perhaps fueled by loner tendencies. I'll freely admit, that individuality is the most important trait, second only to compassion. In truth, there is a belief among certain people that we are only born half complete and need to find the one who can complete us. But in truth, we are already complete. I know it can be nice having someone beside you as you journey down life's many winding roads. But you don't need them as you're not really. You are already complete and whole as yourself. And there's real power in realizing that. Unfortunately, many people don't realize that. And that's why so many people settle these days and why they hate being single even for a second. I love being single because I can just play PS4 all day. You learn to be happy by yourself. Came here to say this. You learn to live with it and even become content. Becoming content and happy with yourself is low-key more important than finding someone else. Don't get me wrong. Relationships are lovely, but self-love is so important. I'm not looking. I'll either happen across someone or I won't. I'll be fine. I live a life full of peace and quiet. Boring to most people I meet but I love it and I believe it's exactly what people fight and die for. I have no drama outside of the occasional work thing and I never get involved in it if I can avoid it and if I can't it doesn't phase phase me. I spend my time off taking care of my home, renting, and my animals. I spend my evenings on the back patio watching the sunset through the trees and the stars. Afterwards, the biggest event in my life in recent months is I installed a new flushing assembly in my toilet that I'm pretty proud of. Despite not being a war vet or having gone on some incredibly arduous adventure I have a real appreciation for peace and quiet and have all of my life and I'm living the Drea Monsieur. If another person wants to live it with me that'd be just fine. And if not that'll be just fine too. Years of being without a partner when I desperately wanted one gave me the chance to learn that I don't need one and nowadays I don't feel any desire to share my life with anyone or not to. I'm just grateful that I somehow have the opportunity to live a life filled with peace and quiet. Despite a global pandemic, institutionalized racism, and the horrifying crimes that occur in my country, I don't watch the news or read the papers. They've never interested me and from what other people say they won't improve my life if I started. I'll keep enjoying my long afternoons and evenings on my patio with a cigarette or tobacco pipe in hand, a shelf full of good books, and a bed with warm blankets whether or not there's another person to enjoy it with me. If I ever want to talk there's always someone on the internet who wants to listen. This is a good life. 
as a 23-yo highly ambitious dude. This reply has such an opposite energy to my current life. Must say, it sounds wonderful. Then find it will turn into either settle or or kidnap. Tag you chitted for inspection at FBI. Reminds one year. Me and my best friend, both females, have agreed that if by the time we are 40 and we are still not married, we will buy a house together. Get all the pets that we want. I want two cats and a chihuahua. She wants a goat and a golden retriever. Since I love kids and she loves to help those in needs we will be taking in foster kids and caring. For the monsieur, adopt about 50 cats. Dang, I need two more. We are all dealt different hands in life. The universe doesn't care about fairness. Peace may come in except in the cards we are dealt. Just as a person born blind will never experience sight, so too some of us will never experience love. It may seem sad or unfair, but it just is. I'm still looking, but I always remember that finding someone won't make me happy. It might make me happier and transition me into a new stage in life, but fundamentally I'll need to find a way to accept myself and learn to grow or I'll make a lousy partner and will end up making someone else unhappy. So when I get really sad and think, maybe I'll never find someone, it occurs to me that even if this doesn't happen, I still have a shot at being a satisfied, peaceful person in my own right, which is probably more important. You hang in there up. I'm rooting for you like hell. Never lose hope. There are 7 billion of us. It's possible. At any stage of life, including children and old people, we don't have 7 billion options. Okay Mr. Technicalities. You know what I mean though tears of joy also why are you excluding old people? They need love too. I don't think it would be very socially acceptable for me to be together with a 75 year old. Feel like a 60 year age gap is too much. Nah, I'm only 26 but wouldn't say no to Sigourney Weaver or Helen Mirren. GILFs through and through. There are definitely people out there who live their entire life alone. Not everyone is going to find someone. That's just the cold reality we live in. This is my biggest fear. What's also scary to me, is I've become jaded to the process of trying to find her. If the universe throws a beautiful, compatible lady into my lap. Then sure, but after six years of looking, searching, trying, asking for numbers, dating websites, dating apps, asking friends if they have any single friends, trying to introduce myself to strangers at events I like, etc, 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 I'm just so fucking done with it all. If Providence wants me to find a partner then I'll find a partner. Otherwise I'll keep enjoying the single man life and spending my money on overly expensive liquor and guns. Man you took the words out of my mouth. Been about four years of endless trying. Liquor, guns, and cars just fill the void for me. Try gardening, for real. My dad replaced guns with gardening and he's become very passionate about it and proud of the beautiful tomatoes. Find a robot. Law waiting for that particular day. You can live a long and happy life. With or without a partner. You can still be someone's friend. Godparent. Teacher. Mentor. Hero. Or whatever kind of role that's important to someone else. You can still save an animal from a shelter. Adopt a child or be a foster parent. You can still share happy occasions with people that love you. Despite what a lot of movies and media say. Having a partner is not the most important thing in life. It's what you do with the life you're given. You shouldn't need someone else to make life worth living. That's too much pressure to put on someone else. Living a fulfilled life is determined by what you want it to entail. And after that then maybe someone will fit into your world. But if not you will still have won the game of life. Then you find other things. Your self-worth isn't tied to partnership just love you who you are and the rest of life will work itself out. Realize that sleeping on a futon when you're 30 is not the worst thing. You know what's worse? Sleeping in a king bed next to a wife you're not really in love with but for some reason married. And you got a couple kids. 
and you got a job you hate. You'll be laying there fantasizing about sleeping on a futon. There's no risk when you go after a drama year there's a tremendous amount of risk to playing it. Save, Bill Burr. So many positive comments hugging face thanks. Then it's time to lower your standards. Start cruising the traumatic brain injury wards. Junior colleges. Denny's. Dive bars at closing time. Come to terms with living and dying alone. It'll be a sad life but it'll be over in a few short decades just like everyone else in you lol. Be too dead to remember her any of it. It's easy, if by 40 I am not in a long-term relationship I am killing myself, simple as that. I'd be totally fine with it honestly. When you realize true happiness comes from within, it doesn't matter if you're single or not. I have no intention of looking for anyone, I'm doing well on my own and see no need to fuck that up. If I can't find someone right for me then I'm better off alone. That's always been my personal belief. I'm not perfect but I think I would be happy alone. I just prefer a partner. Seeing as I don't want children. No I won't change my mind before anyone says it. It's gonna be a lot harder to find someone. If not, oh well. I'll be fine regardless. Meh, I got bigger problems to deal with so I wouldn't care. Same how I feel. I am working on my career and job path since I just graduated right into a fucking recession. That's perfectly fine. Some people just don't find anyone. And being alone isn't that bad. You get to have more freedom and can do more things that you alone want to do. Also, people suck and the majority of them would be willing to betray you at the drop of a hat. My life is already great without a partner. I have a strong circle of friends that I plan to grow old with. We'll just be like the golden girls if none of us ever finds a spouse. It's not hard. You just drink a lot. Work all the overtime you can to make up for not having two incomes. Buy a motorcycle. And stop fearing death. Rock and roll baby. Bunch of hookers and cocaine. I used to think that life starts when? If I get married, then I realize life's happening right now. Find your passions. What makes you unique? Chase that. I stopped letting time pass by. Over a decade, wholly focused on finding a partner. I started writing a list of every quality I offered a partner. My community, the world, my confidence grew tenfold. I spent less time online, more time traveling solo. I started getting promotions. If I didn't like someone I went on a date with, I'd split a check and kindly tell them I didn't feel we were compatible. No sense in wasting their time or mine. They always appreciated the honesty. And then, then I met someone amazing. Yet, I loved and appreciated being single, and even miss it at times. People are getting married later for going kids, focusing on careers. There are communities of singles of all ages. The grass is greener where you water it. Live in the now, life is happening all around you. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.